We are reenacting the inauguration of Grover Cleveland, 1893, second term. Only president to win the popular vote three times, but was only president two times. We'll explain that little mystery, but also the highlights of his presidency, but also it's a way to get excitement and money for the Grover Cleveland birthplace they're trying to expand in Caldwell. Grover Cleveland was the only president actually born in New Jersey. So we've had these events in the past. It's a, a time for, for people all over the state to come and congregate and celebrate one of their favorite sons. I am oddly enough portraying my grandfather, President Grover Cleveland. And I have the honor of being Mrs. Grover Cleveland tonight. We are happy to be here tonight to partner with the Montclair Orchestra to raise money to help two wonderful cultural organizations in Essex County to help bring awareness of culture and education to the people of our region. We are going to have a reenactment of an inaugural ball and this is exactly like they had in 1893. This is going to be a, a wonderful benefit for the Grover Cleveland birthplace, for the work they're doing there, and also for the fabulous, unbelievable Montclair Orchestra. Well, there's nothing more fun than history. Come on! So we're going to have a good time, good food, and great music, too, tonight. Please stay. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Congratulations, Mr. President. I think it's really important to have people, younger people like myself, at events like this to really learn about the history of the state and to learn about the history of Grover Cleveland. And then we're going to have the fantastic Montclair Orchestra. They will be playing uh, pieces of that era. So we have Mozart, we have Grieg, and then we have a number of marches that were written for the inauguration in 1893, so I think it's a nice mix. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, when we put this thing on the basket, even the fly wouldn't go to the dining room. They would go for it. They make a U-turn back outside. They couldn't stand that stuff. I was the executive pastry chef at the White House for 26 years, the longest running chef at the White House. Remember the dog, Millie? Yeah. Very smart dog. Millie wrote a book and he became a bestseller, be <laughs> better than my book has ever done. <laughs> we have uh, a lot of things to put on the auction all related with the White House, of course. So now we're going to make some money for the Grover Cleveland Birthplace Association. Let's all open up our wallets and bid on these objects and, and help these organizations to do their work. President Reagan pen plus ladies charm bracelet. He used to write love note to Nancy with that pen. With that pen. So you don't know what it can do for you. I do have 275 here, I need 300. This is a place where people can come and learn about the history, so it's important that we support it any way we can. It is important to go to the birthplace of President Grover Cleveland. It's important to learn about the history of not only President Grover Cleveland, but about the state of New Jersey as well. Thank you all so much for coming, and enjoy the rest of the evening.